So in this section, this is the part to actually, I'm going to show you how you can exploit RDP from the domain level. So on this particular video, I'm going to show you how you can exploit domain controller RDP. RDP exploit is super easy to use it. Previous video, I already show you how you can exploit RDP, like local orchestration. Without spending time, I have three operating system here. One is Kali, one is uh, Windows 10 machine, and then one is domain controller. So domain controller, we don't have to deal with that, but just in case, you know, we have to go here and make the rdp session enable and we have to type password so allow and then just make sure you haven't checked this one just making sure and then bravo has a remote access just making sure and my ip address is so 102 I will do the same thing here. I'm gonna do the same things from the end map first, and I will show you the next level with the MSF console. And we will go other tool to exploit it. Let me make it a little bit bigger for you, and I will type here as end map dash p, which is port. And 3389, you know that RDP port is 3389 by default. And then this is the nmap script. I'm calling RDP enumeration encryption with the IP address. Once you do that, you have to hit enter and you'll see there. So this is the port open state, whatever we have here. And then this is the RDP enumeration things. So secure layer, and this is the, the result and once we do this i will show you one more thing here let me enable nla here i'll just show you the result how the nla works if you click here i'll go back and i will scan one more time with the same command and you will see right here the difference is here so ssl there is no ssl so this is the more important thing. That's what I'm going to show you here. And I will only disable this one and exploit it again. Okay. With the MSF console, I'm going to show you how you can... With the MS console, I'm going to show you how you can scan RDP ports and the sessions. Okay. Once we open the... MSF console, this is the actually in build database by default in the Kali, so you don't have to install it. So, this is the so powerful tool. I will do the um, RDP. Actually, let me do one then search RDP scan. So, see right here, so you can normally do RDP scanning here so use this so also you can use zero so you can directly type zero there so whatever it works for you i i will do so options use our host with that ip so we are set i next point so hit enter so see right here so this is the domain controller and this is the fully qualified domain controller the windows 10 version and la and la is not enabled so okay now we have to do one more thing let me open one more terminal for you and let me make you a little bigger so you have to download crowbar crowbar right here so this is a super useful tool i'm using for and this is so helpful so we can literally exploit the standalone or workstation plus domain controller for the domain controller you have to do some sort of commands it's kind of a little bit tricky but i will show you how you can do it okay once you do that just go ahead and 
click on code, copy the code, and get clone and put this one. If I hit enter, it is already there, so you don't have to worry. Uh, but if you don't, then it will download for you. Crowbar and do dash dash crowbar py dash h. Right now, I'm gonna use is dash crowbar right and then das b is our rdp session and das s s is our server so server is one two dot one six eight dot thirty five dot one oh two slash thirty two so you can just put like zero slash twenty four also so it doesn't really matter so but i'm gonna because it will take a little bit time so i don't want to waste your time so i'll show you 102 slash 32 and that's user is so that's user is our bravo okay bravo at lav dot local and this is the password pad Okay, one more time. B is for remote desktop, remote portable, and dash S is a server, U is a username, C uppercase is file path for the password. So once we do that, we will literally take a little bit of time to do that. So if you see right here, RDP is success. There you go, with the password this. All right, so let's do the RDP in them. sudo r x rdp and that's password. I will use the same password and username is for the this is the tricky part. So it takes me a lot of times to research on it. So username and that's lav lav dot Maxless, maxless, B R A V O. So, boom, there you go. We are able to successfully exploit the domain controller user. So, this is how we can do it. There are a lot of things we can do on it. So, I highly recommend you to take a research on it. And there are like few things we have to very serious about this one. First thing, we need to change the administrator password with the 40 character with a special upper low lowercase numbers plus and change the administrator name just put something i don't want to recommend you to use administrator just rename the administrator name with a different name and so you can just put the Keep it in your mind and then you can just use it using that. For that, let's go ahead and check the some things here. So once you do local security policy, you can go here. And once you open that, we will change something here. And also, all right, so in this section, you have to go account lock policy settings. And once you click on here, so if you see here, so account lock threshold, you can literally change to like 10 or 5 depends upon you so you have to change from here so because this one is domain controller pc so that's why it is locked here so you, you cannot change it because default policy will automatically do it for you and once you see like zero it will exploit just make sure you enable nla and you enable you change the local password you change the administrator username as a different username right here so you can literally rename that different username 